Hi everyone, today I would like to teach you how to add a text in Unity and then uh, to be able to modify the text uh, and the text color and the font size through C Sharp script. So first of all, we will make user interface text. The text comes with the canvas and the event system, so you should not delete the uh, canvas and the event system. And then uh, we can uh, just change the like text content, we will uh, write our original text and we will make it bold. We will make 25 and align center and we will change the color into red. And yes, I guess that's it for this test and uh, if you go to game view you can see it is uh, just our original we don't see the rest of the text that we wrote here so we will go to uh, scene and we will make it a bigger a little bit and uh, then we'll come back oh no we don't see it yet a little bit bigger again we go back yeah we see the whole text uh, now that we see the whole text uh, we will uh, create a c-sharp script we will make it change text uh, in order to keep our project panel clean i will make a folder i will name it scripts and i will drag the change text to scripts and uh, then we will double click on change text okay uh, here first we will create our variables first we will call our text so we will create a variable with the text type and we will name it my text then I will create public um, int uh, new font size and then public uh, string uh, new string and uh, public color uh, new color yeah and uh, before we proceed we will save our script and we will go back to oh before we come back to unity if you see our text color is in red color it means that unity hasn't recognized this variable type it means that we need to make it to understand so we will write using unity engine um, dot ui yes when you type this here under system collection here um, the text will turn into blue color it means that uh, it recognized this uh, variable type now we can save the scene and we can go back to unity uh, here uh, in order to be able to manipulate with uh, like change text script we will create a an empty game object and we will call it manager or controller whatever that makes sense in order to be able to understand what this game object is doing in the future and then we will connect them, our scripts to our manager and then here uh, we are oh, okay uh, these are the variables that we defined uh, in our scripts so because they are public we can see it here if you make it private they will disappear from this uh, like uh, panel and now we should fill in this information we will drag text into text like a uh, variable placeholder and then we will make the font size 11 and then we will make the string the string to yep i did it and then we will change the color into um, like dark blue and don't forget 
uh, to make this uh, maximum because otherwise you will not see anything it will be transparent of course if you want it to be transparent you can make transparent but uh, make it to 155 in order to see the, the same color here and after that we will uh, go back to script now we have to uh, uh, like assign these uh, variables to our text so we don't need the start function we go to the update uh, we will write my text text uh, should be new string my text mm, font size should be new font size my text color should be new color okay i guess we're done yeah everything is correct here we save the script don't forget to save the script every time you change something and then go back to unity we have modified everything that we need here uh, now we will save our scene we can name it scene one it will appear here we will make folder as I said uh, it is good to keep the project panel clean we will make it mm, write scenes this is a folder where you can put all your scenes in the future okay now we run our game yes we changed it's very small yeah I did it okay thanks for listening have fun bye